Six months ago, we launched the Mercer Report's Spread the Net Student Challenge. We challenged schools across this country to raise money for anti-malaria bed nets in Africa. Partnered with UNICEF, 10 bucks, buys a net and saves a life. 140 schools from coast to coast took part. And this year, in an added twist, we pitted the East against the West. And not since the highly divisive national energy program of the early 1980s has pitting region against region worked out so well. At the end of the day, there were two clear winners in the West. Simon Fraser University in Burnaby, British Columbia, and in the East, the University of Ottawa right here in the nation's capital. Let's meet the winners. And with that, it's my great pleasure to introduce Rick Mercer. Wow. It's a, it's a great thrill for me to be here. Six months ago, I went on the TV and I said that we were launching this year's Spread the Net Student Challenge. We took a page from Stephen Harper's book. We decided to pit region against region. <laughs> We decided to pit the East against the West, and it turned out that it worked. And it is my great pleasure to tell you that you people, University of Ottawa, you have won. You are the best school in the East. What's going on here now? We're about to do a dizzy relay to okay. raise funds for Spread the Net. Yes. school that won, mm -hmm. the Western school. I know, SFU. SFU. It's my brother's school. No. Yes. No. <laughs> yes. So there's a bit of a rivalry. Family rivalry family going on. Family rivalry yeah. going on. We, yeah. Did we divide the family? We did. But we spread some nets. I'm the favorite child. <laughs> right. And I got it, and we, we did. We spread the nets. The whole family got involved. It was great. Welcome to Burnaby, British Columbia, where high on a beautiful mountain sits the best in the West. Simon Fraser University, not only home to Dr. Mosquito, but home to this year's first place winners in the Spread the Net Student Challenge. Now, the astute viewers of the Mercer Report will remember this fellow, one of my favorite guests, Dr. Carl Lowenberger, also known as Dr. Mosquito. Hello, sir, how are Hi, you? Hi, Rick. The lab freaks me out. Why? The parasitology lab, that's why. Parasites, I don't like the idea. Everyone's got them. I know. Do they? Everybody. Really? Absolutely. And see, you get excited by that. I do. I know, ha, 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 Dr. Mosquito. Look, look what his garbage can looks like. What, is that dangerous? It certainly is. <laughs> You are now contaminated. No! Explain to the people at home why the Spread the Net program is so important. We don't have a vaccine against malaria. Mm -hmm. We don't have uh, cheap, efficacious drugs that can cure people that well. There's drug resistance. And the sector of the population that suffers the most are children under the age of five. Right. And so the Spread the Net campaign, with its nets, can protect those children from being bitten by infected mosquitoes for the first five years of life, after which their immune system can tolerate the parasite a lot more. Right. That's the baby mosquitoes, eh? It certainly now, is. Now, they can't bite me, right? They cannot. Especially the ones you crush. They're not biting anybody is this, anymore. Is this hurting you? Uh, not at all. Does a little part of you die every time I squish a baby mosquito? Not at all. Since its inception, the Spread the Net Student Challenge in this country has raised over $800,000. That's over 80,000 bed nets. And it is my privilege to tell you today that in the East, the University of Ottawa was our winner. And in the West, raising the most money in the country, SFU. Good job.
job, sir. Congratulations. Okay. Are you ready to compete? I am indeed. Do you have a teammate? I do indeed. I have what they call a ringer, I believe. Premier Gordon Camel. Hello, Premier. How are you? Hey, Rick. I'm good. Very good. You ready to do this? I'm ready to run in circles. Ready to spread the net? Story of my life, yep. Before you got into the whole Premier racket and the mayor racket and stuff, yeah. you actually worked in areas that were affected by malaria, right? I worked in northern Nigeria. Slept under a mosquito net every single night, took anti-malarial pills. I can tell you this program works for thousands of people in ways that we don't even begin to imagine right. in Canada. Which is why you've agreed to do this today. Thank you for coming out. Thanks, Rick. Very good. Congratulations. Yeah.